Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is March 23, 2018. Today we will be viewing images from unedited photos obtained over the past couple days from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams scattered across Alaska and Canada. All videos are in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. On March 19th, the Southwest Facing Weather Cam in Port Lyons, Alaska picked up a very faint image of something enormous and tan colored on the right side of the screen, partially set over the horizon as the sun begins to descend for the evening. It's nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals, but look closely because it is there. Then on March 4th, the South Facing Weather Cam at Huna, Alaska captured this same object on a rare uncloudy day. <coughs> it is so massive that neither the top nor the bottom of this object can fit into the camera screen. We had an even sharper view of this the very next day on another rare cloudy day in Huna, Alaska. For Earth to not be in an upheaval, it must still be many millions of miles away. This mammoth object sets next to the left, left of our sun, causing very pinkish red skies on those nights in the lower 48 states where we are lucky enough to see a piece of the horizon through heavy chemtrail cloud cover. As the sun moves westward, the sun simulator, explained in many previous videos, puts out an enormous amount of glare in an attempt to engulf this huge object in glare, rendering it non-viewable. This glare engulfing feature is what causes our sun to have the appearance of changing sizes dramatically throughout the day. Viewers may recall that the other day we saw the sun about 30 times its normal size from the south facing weather cam in Kipnook, Alaska. This same gigantic tan colored planet that we see every morning, clouds permitting, from the southwest facing camera at the military base in Elmendorf Richardson, Alaska. There is a third object on the right edge of the screen. Remember this because we will see that again later. The sun appears to take on a contorted shape as the sun simulator engulfs this object in glare to make it non-viewable. Clouds permitting, we see the same huge object rising next to the sun every morning from the southeast facing weather cam located in Chicamas Canyon, British Columbia in Canada. Our real sun is the smaller light on the left and the gigantic tan orb, now highly illuminated by the sun simulator, is on the right. The concealment jet, explained in detail in our March 21st video, maintains perfect alignment with the center of the sun simulator and the eclipsing planet, sending signals to the sun simulator regarding the various types of concealment, be it glare engulfing, blurring, or shadowing. Odd-shaped reflections of this concealment jet are visible near the bottom of the screen. In the last frame, we see the blurring mechanism applied. Eventually, this gigantic object becomes blurred and then fades away into the transparency of the atmospheric chemicals. On the southwest facing camera in Skagway, Alaska, we see the late afternoon sun getting low and approaching these same two objects again that we saw from the military base and the Huna, Alaska cameras. Soon they will be setting to the left and to the right of our sun, causing red and pink skies to the left and to the right of our sun. The sun simulator takes on a contorted shape in order to cover the closest object in glare, and we see the odd-shaped reflections of the concealment jet swing across the screen. The south-facing weather cam in Talkeetna, Alaska shows another eclipse with a large planet full of craters. Notice the airplane-shaped reflection of the concealment jet, which aligns itself with the eclipsing planet and the black center of the sun simulator for optimum concealment. This planet has some very interesting craters and texture to it, which are really brought out with some contrast applied. From Old Harbor, Alaska, we see the black dot reflecting upon the water proving that it is not a camera issue, but an actual piece of equipment.
From the weather cam in Taslina Tolsona, we see the concealment jet in action again, closely following a transparent planet, barely even visible with contrast applied to it. Reflections of this jet swing across the lower part of the screen as the sun approaches the planet in preparation for an eclipse. Notice how the reflections of the jet equipment line themselves up with the eclipsing planet and the center of the sun simulator. These objects are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.